Lefted President Dilma Rousseff didn't waste much time celebrating after winning Brazil's first round of the presidential election with over 40% of the vote. The former Marxist guerrilla is already getting ready to face centrist candidate Aécio Neves in a runoff in three weeks. As we said in the time of the struggle, of the resistance, a luta continua, the struggle continues. And I want to repeat it, the struggle continues. A fight that, without any doubt, will once again be successful. Business favorite Neves centered his campaign on the promise of kick-starting the world's seventh largest economy, which fell into a recession in the first half of 2014. With nearly 30 percent of the vote, he got a hero's welcome from supporters after staging an improbable comeback against ecologist Marina Silva. Acreditou na possibilidade da mudança. A minha primeira confirmação. I believe in the possibility of change. My first impression is that this feeling exists everywhere in Brazil, and this feeling won in the first round. Both challenges are courting the endorsement of Silva, who just a month ago looked set to become Brazil's first black president as she promised to bring new politics to the country. But voters instead opted for the two parties that have led Brazil for the past 20 years, a disappointment for many of those who took part in the massive protests in 2013 against corruption and poor public services. What's the point of taking to the streets and demonstrating, then voting like this? I don't understand why Brazil did this. We woke up the giant to then reach this result at the election. Though the president is so far the favorite to win the runoff, Marina Silva could call on her 20 million supporters to vote for Neves, so another surprise cannot be ruled out.